So, uh, so my name's Ryan Ballard. Um, I'm Engineering Director for Powertrain at JCB. Okay. Fundamentally, I, I lead the, the engine design and development team. Um, so I've got the, the privilege of, of, of leading the, the team of talented engineers that, that have worked on, on the development of, of this product. Um, so we started that in July 2020, um, where we, we'd been experimenting with thinking about hydrogen and hydrogen in the use of fuel cells. Um, and, and we're obviously aware of the possibility of using it in an in a internal combustion engine such as, such as this. Um, but July 2020, we really started to challenge ourselves to, to bring it into reality. Uh, to First and foremost, to, to create a demonstration engine for our chairman, to demonstrate the concept to him. Um, and then taking it a stage further and putting that into, a, into one of our backhoe loaders so that we could then again demonstrate it to our chairman but also de demonstrate it to our customers and the wider, the wider world really. So one of the key attributes that we set for ourselves, that I set the team, was to, to make sure that the attributes of, of the hydrogen motor would be uh, more or less the same as the diesel motor it was replacing. So what I really mean by that is that it offers the same power, the same torque, it's the same size, the same footprint and, and, and interface points as the diesel engine. So as much as possible, it's plug and play. Okay. And for the operator and the customer and the person who's actually using the machine, they have that same experience of that nice low end power, lots of torque at the bottom end when they're using the kit. Because for us, it's all about the end product. Yep. It's not just the engine, it's the actual digger and the product. Um, and, and therefore they're used to that, that, that performance be able to push into the pile and, and, and really use that low down torque. Sure. So we've maintained that as one of the key attributes yeah. for, for, for this engine. I guess we've, we've always been agnostic towards the technology for decarbonisation. So as you know, we've, we've, we've got electrified products that are out there now um, and, and we have done for a few years now and we're continue to, continuing to grow that portfolio of product. Um, we've also experimented with fuel cells. Um, and fuel cells are a fabulous technology. Um, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're great from, from, a, from an engineer's point of view. It's absolutely thrilling to work with a technology like that. But from a complexity for the end user, particularly in the construction and off-highway industry, they are very complicated, they are very expensive, and they're quite fragile. So we started to learn a little bit about that. And, and earlier our chairman was alluding to the fact that you know, the inflationary aspect of fuel cells is really quite extreme at the moment and a, a hundred thousand pound you know excavation machine might cost three hundred thousand pounds with a fuel cell that's just not realistic or commercially viable for us so next stages for us for hydrogen technology um, is, is really to productionize this take it to take it into production put it onto our mid-range machines our backhoe loaders and our telehandlers um, and, and, and really get that product out there so that our customers have got a valid route to decarbonisation.